You're gonna have to get it yourself, okay? Are you guys late for school or what? Mom, it doesn't matter, okay? Jeez, put on the news or something. Oh, hey, Maddie, is that the news? Yeah, I'm gonna sit down. The dog race has been slowly distancing themselves from Webkin's trade routes. Month after month, year after year, yeah, yeah, there are yeah, drops yeah, yeah. in communication Jeez, and trade records. Cold. For what reasons is this true? Did you get out of here? We don't want to be filmed right now. That's really strange. I'm gonna have to talk about this at work. But you're a military office man, it's what you do. I know, but just don't talk about it with your friends, okay? It, it could be kind of serious. What? Dogs haven't been continuing with trade routes. It doesn't matter. Jeez, come on, Dad. Maddie, let's go. Where is your sister Claire? We are late for school, young man. Let's go. Fine. Bye, Dad. So what's for lunch today? Ah, uh, the usual. Just some, probably some stupid version of cereal. We got special lunch for you today. Yes, yes, very special, very special. Eat up, eat up. All right? Thanks, Lunch Googles. What are you talking about, this, like, newscast? I saw it, and I didn't think it was that special. All right, well, Goldberg, listen to this. They completely cut off trade routes. It's a big thing. You just, come on, let me tell you more. Okay. So, Goldberg, let me... Oh, hey, Fringe. Hey, guys, what's up? What are you guys talking about? All right, you heard that crazy thing on the news, right? <laughs> about the dogs? It's probably just some stupid scam or something. Wow, you guys talking about the news? Losers! Oh, right here, Clark. Yeah, Carl. <laughs> oh, I hate those guys. They're such idiots. So, man, uh, tell me more about your sister. <laughs> so I was late and my mom was freaking out. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> I would have died laughing. <laughs> mom, come on. Oh, no, you don't. You are not asking about Claire. Claire is psycho. Are you kidding me? She's probably the craziest teenager in this whole school. I don't know. I, I think she's kind of cute the way she's so hyper all the time. Frank, please. Gold, please. <laughs> Guys, seriously, what are we going to do? What if the dogs, like, attack or something? We're lax. They're not gonna attack. Shut up, jeez. Mm. Mm. You sure do like lunch food, Pinky. Well, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It, uh, it's always pet food. <laughs> <sighs> exactly why I don't want it. You're gonna spill it all over the table? Yeah, why not, Mindy? <laughs> when are we gonna go to the movies again, guys? I really miss it. We don't hang out that much. Yeah, I know. But hey... I know someone who does want to hang out with you. Who? What are you talking about, boys? Let's talk about it. Come on. Hey, what the hell? Why are you putting this? Since I have big ears and all, fringe. Fringe? Oh my god, the really cute leopard? Mm-hmm. I think he likes you, Claire. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. See what I tell you. Dirty and messy. Shut up, Goldberg. So, please, don't ask about Claire. All right, fine. What about you then, Mr. Know-it-all? <laughs> He's got the hots for a new girl. I haven't even met her yet. Well, she's new, okay, and she's different, all right? Ooh, ooh. Oh, stop, guys, really. Her name's Mindy, and she's really awesome. Huh, I mean, what, is she in this lunch? I'm not telling you. I don't want you taking her from me. I wouldn't do that. Oh, that's the bell. We better start going. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Flower. So today, we're gonna take out the homework first, so can everyone do that? Oh, damn. 
Oh my god, come on guys. Take out the homework. Cause I didn't do it, obviously. You're not the only one. Cool. Hey, Maddie, did you do it? Um, no. No one does summer vacation homework. Here, Miss Flower. All right, good. Keep that up there. The worst time to give homework. Wow. You must be new. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now turn to page uh, 360. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my goodness, that little boy just threw down his pants and started running around the parking lot. <gasps> what was his mother doing? Did you see? Did you see? Uh, I swear, if that was my child, I would have done something right away. Who said they wanted tea? Oh, right over here, Pressy. Okay. Hey, Cookie Dough, um, unpause Rachel Ray, would you? Oh, yeah, sorry, Silver. <laughs> I'm going to start by filling up the pot with some water for the oh, It's the best thing ever. I love the Food Network. It's great. So, Prosy, when are you over with that tea, huh? Sorry. I'm right here. So, um, did you guys bring everything? All the antiques? You know, it's Antique Week this week. I know. I love it when you host these little get-togethers, Prosy. It is really the greatest thing. All right, so, um, who has... Something they want to, you know, show. All right, to start with, it is a special antique ornament. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I love it because it has all, like, the woods on it. All right, what about you? Well, I have a special Japanese good luck charm. You've got to move your tea. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow, and it has a little bell. What about you, Pressy? Well, my husband... You know, since he went to, he went to war, he he has a lot of old radios. Oh wow, wow! It's right over here. <laughs> it's a little cool radio. Yeah. So, what does your husband do? Um, he works at a military office. Uh, Smokey. So, does he ever get called back? Are you worried about it? I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I'm more worried about the kids. <gasps> Oh my god, the kids! I completely forgot. What time is it? Um, 2.37. Crap, they get out at 2.30. I gotta go. Um, are you sure you just want us to stay? Sorry. Just have the rest of your tea, Pippi. I'll be back soon. Run, Pressy. <laughs> go, woman, go. Where is she? She's so late all of the time. Oh my god. Mom. I'm really sorry, kids. Um, let's go home, all right? Finally. About time. About time, Mom. Stripes. Hmm. Yeah, Kaylee. You have a phone call upstairs to Rick's office. Oh, all right. I'll be right there. Tell him that. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Marshmallow. Oh, hi. Um, he called you. Um, he's right in his office. All right, thanks. Mm. Oh, hey, Stripes. Glad you came down. So, um, what's the deal, Rick? Why, um, did you call me? A couple things. Um, I wanted to congratulate you on your work so far. You've been doing a really nice job around here. Every call that comes in, you're the first to pick up an answer, and you're the first to come and tell me, and it's always something worth it. So, thank you and good job. Thanks, sir. And secondly, um, well, I want to know what you think of the news. I knew this would come up. I told my son this morning. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, I know they've been our enemies for a very long time, and I, I'm worried. We've been sharing, um, food and different resources for years, and... Now, these past couple years, suddenly the line has stopped and they're not answering us or even talking to us anymore. Uh, I agree. That is a problem. Uh, I've, I'm stuck for words and I didn't know what we should do and I thought I would ask you since you're my best worker. I think we should wait it out, sir. We don't know anything yet. It could be just miscalculations. 
Tell you what. Come by my office tomorrow, and I'll have a surprise for you. Oh, thank you, sir. Good day. Good day to you, too, Stripes. Maddie, watch it. We're watching something. Sorry, Mom. You can change up all the different herbs that you use. So this is just a nice together. I find about 20 leaves or so makes about a cup. We want about a cup of basil leaves in there. Maybe a couple more. Excellent. All right, Dad. Let's see what you're hiding in here. Maddie? Huh? Dad! I I'm really sorry. I I didn't mean to go through your room. I really didn't. I... What were you looking for? Did you find anything you wanted? I just wanted to learn more ab about your military past, Dad. <sighs> Listen, Maddie. It's that dumb newscast, isn't it? It's getting, you know, anxious. I guess so. Maddie, I know it can be scary. And I know that my job can be frightening sometimes when they call me to do something physical. You're never home. You're always at the office. Listen, about the newscast about the dogs, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's nothing, okay? I hope you're right, Dad. Thank you.